Timori Carbon Fiber PLA and Carbon Fiber PTG. But we clear it again. Well, this time maybe you'll be surprised. Hello. Timori Company became very active on Amazon and I got several requests from my viewers to test these filaments too. I contacted the company and they agreed to send me some filaments for the testing and I told them that they can send me their two most popular or most interesting filaments for the testing and they sent me PLACF and PTGCF, both reinforced with carbon fibers. I'm not sure are these the most popular, maybe interesting, but uh, we will see soon. By the way, you can leave in my comments uh, if you want me to test some other filaments from the Tinmary company. Uh, I still think that these carbon fibers uh, primarily helps with better printability, we will have less warping. But the PLA and PETG are quite easy for the printing even without these uh, reinforced fibers. But uh, they help with a nicer surface, uh, better temperature resistance and the stiffness along the X and Y axis. But usually they make uh, the Z axis, the layer, a little bit weaker. But we will see how they perform on my regular testings. So let's see what's in the box. Mm -hmm. We have some receivable bag, but quite thin. Both filaments are in brick red color. The PL is a little bit lighter compared to the PTG, and they arrived in this nice vacuum packaging with some desiccant inside. And I forgot to mention that I got these filaments for free, but I'm not paid anything about this. Now, information on the spool is a little bit different than what I can find on the website. For example, print temperature on the website is between 220 and 250 degrees Celsius, but on the spool it says 190 and 230 degrees Celsius. For PTG, this information is correct and it is between 240 and 270 degrees Celsius. And interesting, in both cases, they write that it can be printed on 300 millimeters per second speed. For PLA, maybe it's okay, but for PTG, I think this number is too big. By the way, those 300 millimeters per second speed with 0.4 millimeter nozzle and 0.2 millimeter layer height means 24 cubic millimeters per second flow. And just one reminder, and this information can be found on their website too, that we need some wear resistant nozzle, but we can print it with 0.4 millimeter size, we don't need 0.6 or bigger. The printing will be on X1 carbon out of the box without drying, but immediately after the printing that goes to these resealable bags, but probably for the PTG I will use some thicker one. To Timori, I would suggest to add information on what is the weight of the empty spool, or at least to the website. If I get the information on time, you can see it now on the screen. And here you can see these two filaments under the microscope, and I notice that they don't stick out like I noticed with some other more brittle filaments. And usually if I don't have prepared profiles, I'm starting with temperature tower. This one is from 250 down to 220 degrees Celsius. And for the PTG from 270 down to 240 degrees Celsius. It's printing the third element, but even on 250 degrees Celsius this temperature tower looks okay. But I will analyze it later. The temperature tower is almost finished and it looks great on any element, but I will analyze it later. And these temperature towers are great, maybe you can see nice bridging, no stringing on any element, uh, overhang came out perfectly too, and uh, don't be confused, this is 270 only, I don't have element with that number, but I could choose any element from this and the printing would be great. I always try to go higher of course, because of the better layer adhesion. And my final settings in the slicer, 240 will be on the nozzle for PLA, 65 on the bed, 16 will be the flow, and of course maximal part cooling. For PETG, 260 on the nozzle, 80 on texture bed, and 16 the flow, and the part cooling. And here you can see two time lapses side by side. PIL and PETG are easy for printing anyway, but with carbon fibers, absolutely no problems here. And when the bed cools down, it's very easy to remove the objects. I'm starting with a 10 cell test with horizontally printed test objects. And this is PLACF. This is average value for the PLA, and now PTGCF, and this is better than the average regular PTG. And now the layer attention, the biggest surprise. This is good for the PLA, so the carbon fiber didn't make it weaker, but for PTG, this is better than the regular PTG. On test side, test more or less average values for these materials, maybe a little bit above the average on the PTG, but this layer adhesion is fantastic in both cases, and definitely I have some plans for the separate video about this PLA. I want to try the annealing.
And now two sided shell stress with horizontally and vertically printed test objects with the same dimensions. Side by side two materials printed in horizontal position. Quite good here. And these are printed in vertical position. The layer adhesion is important here. And they are good here too. They are all shared correctly in three pieces, only one is missing here. And these carbon fiber materials became too strong for me for this test. I have to invest in some kind of motorized equipment. And additionally, you look at these cross sections. These are printed in vertical position and the shell is not along the one layer only. This means they have greater layer adhesion. Torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects with the same dimensions. And always try to record the load at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load. But probably these will break more suddenly. These are printed in horizontal position. Load at 90 degree rotation. The maximum load. 2.1. And these are printed in vertical position. Interesting to see more or less similar numbers between horizontal and vertically printed test objects, but of course the brake type is uh, very different. This breaks more suddenly. Three point bending test, distance between supports is 50 millimeters, and I'm placing these loads one by one, and I'm measuring the deformation after one, 30 and 60 seconds. This is now under 2.5 kilograms, five kilograms, and you can see more deformation on the PETG part. This is under 10 kilograms, and after this, uh, very minimally, but I can see some permanent deformation on the PTG mostly. The temperature test in the oven, and uh, as always, I have several tests in the progress. These two are thin filaments. As I mentioned, carbon fibers usually helps here, but they increase the average values by 5 degrees approximately in both cases. Interesting to see that on PTG we have more deformation compared to the PLA. ISO impact test with this half kilogram hammer, Tim Marie PLA. Zero position. Tim Marie PTG. At the first look, similar breaks, but let's analyze the footage. This is the zero position of the hammer, and this is after breaking the PLA CF, and this is after PTG CF. And this means that the PTG is a little bit more brittle material compared to the PLA. The creep has a deformation under constant load. This is PLA and this is PTG. And I think a little bit more deformation on the PTG, but let's measure them. 1403. 1475. I always have several tests in the progress, but at least we will have a good comparison between them two and uh, all testing I started today. This is the last fifth day and I can see more deformation on the PTG compared to the PLA. 1432 1511 And now let's remove all loads. After removing the load I can see very similar deformation, actually almost no deformation on both filaments. And it's time to analyze the data and this extra table you can download from mytechfun.com website and as always these two lines will be added to the summary table for my Patreon supporters. Let's start with the creeping. Here we can see the distance between two reference surfaces and smaller values are better so this means that PLACF is better but also very important with the creeping is the difference between two days and that's what we can see here on this graph. These are very low values, no big difference between them but interesting, slightly better is the PLA in this creeping test. Tensile test, and uh, here we can see that there is no big difference. For the PLA, this is average value compared to the regular PLA. For PETG, this is better than the average regular PETG. And these layer adhesions are really great, especially for this PETG, because this is also reinforced with carbon fibers too. Usually my experience was that reinforcing with carbon fibers will make the layer adhesion weaker. One of the reasons for this better layer adhesion may be that they are printed on a little bit higher temperatures than I usually do for this kind of materials. And this is the shell stress with the uh, horizontally printed test objects. Well, yes, PLA is stronger compared to the PETG, but no big difference with the vertically printed test objects. And look at this ratio. This scale is equal on both sides. And we have the similar strength of the PETG printed in horizontal on or vertical position. Three point bending test, 
And here we can see the deformation under these loads after 30 seconds. And smaller values are better, so PLA is better here. But this is more interesting, where we can see the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And uh, of course, PLA is stronger here, less deformation. But uh, very interesting is that these parts are nearly horizontal, very minimal angle I have here with the 10 kilogram load, so very minimal creeping. But this material performs very good in this bending test. Torque or twist test, and for me this load and 90 degree angle is always more important. That's what we can see here with horizontally printed objects. And this is the brake load for the vertically printed test objects. And interesting to see very similar numbers, very similar strength printed in horizontal or vertical position. But of course don't forget that this will break more suddenly. The ISO impact test and uh, PLA is a tougher material compared to the PTG and I can constantly see this ratio between any other materials when I'm testing the same brand. And on a temperature test, I think this is the most important property of this PETG because it is more temperature resistant compared to the PLA. But what is interesting to notice is that the difference is not much bigger compared to the regular PLA or PETG. So this means that those fibers may be smaller or something like that. So anyway, uh, also there is the price and uh, of course it can vary at depend on the country, but the point is that uh, they are equal. And I think this PETG have actually only two advantages compared to this PLA. One is the temperature resistance. For example, if you want to print something for your car interior, the PLA will deform on a very hot summer day. And the other thing is the creeping. Yes, here the PLA performed better compared to the PETG, but don't forget that this was only on very constant room temperature. But if this temperature would be, I know, 30, 35 degrees Celsius, for example, or outside or something like that, I believe that in this case the PETG would perform better compared to the PLA on the scraping test. This was really a pleasant surprise. Uh, usually my experience was adding these carbon fibers to PLA or even PETG. It will make the parts weaker, especially the layer adhesion. But here we have great results. And I'm not sure are these fibers shorter or smaller or, or what, because for example with temperature resistance they help, but not so much like with other filaments. Maybe they are smaller, I'm just guessing, I'm not sure. And definitely I have some plans with this uh, PLA because I want to see if I can anneal it without any significant deformation. Will carbon fibers prevent that deforming of the object? Have with this PTG, it's a little bit too late because I have an experiment because I wanted to see how much higher I can go with the print temperatures to see if I will get significantly better layer adhesion. But uh, I already have this uh, test in the progress with other filaments. But if I would start it now properly, I would use this one. If you have some other experience, ah yes, and if you want me to test some other Timori filaments, write me down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing.